Hi, this video will show you how to draw a UML sequence diagram in 5 steps. In step 1, we define who will kickstart the interaction. In step 2, we draw the first message being passed. In step 3, we draw other messages being passed. In step 4, we draw return messages going back to the original sender. And in step 5, we send message to objects outside the scope of the diagram. In the demo, the software we'll be using is called Visual Paradigm for UML, Modular Edition. And we'll walk through an example of withdrawing money from an ATM machine. We'll see how the interactions between objects look like in a sequence diagram. At the top of a sequence diagram, you see the objects or rows of the system lined up in a row. In our example, they are the ATM user, card reader, bank consortium, display, and keypad. You see messages being passed between these objects horizontally. And even more importantly, the order in which the interactions occur as time moves from top to bottom in the diagram. In step 1, we define who will kickstart the interaction. We're now in Visual Paradigm for UML, Modular Edition, and we're going to begin by creating a new sequence diagram. Go up here and click UML. Under Behavioral Modeling, select Sequence Diagram. Let's rename this diagram by double-clicking here and type in ATM system press enter when you're done now go to the diagram toolbar on the left drag actor onto the diagram to the top left corner and we'll name it ATM user and then press enter when you're done to deselect it just click on any white space in the diagram Throughout the demo, I'll try to do this as a habit so that it's a little easier to see without the shortcut icons. In step 2, we draw the first message being passed. The first message is sent from the ATM user to the card reader. To draw that, instead of using the diagram toolbar on the left, alternatively, we'll be using the resource-centric interface which provides drawing shortcuts. If you select the vertical bar here, the interface will pop up. Basically, it is a collection of tiny icons that help you to draw and connect to the next shape. Go to the icon that reads Message to Lifeline. Drag it to the right and release your mouse button. Name it Card Reader. Press Enter when you're done, and automatically the message box will open up. In it, enter Insert ATM Card and press Enter when you're done. Let's move this a little bit to the right. Okay. Now note that while the card reader is an object or a row, the line underneath it is called lifeline in UML. In step 3, we draw other messages being passed. Apart from the first message, we would probably draw other messages too. In our example, it's now the card reader's turn to send a message to bank consortium and ask it to validate the card information. So select the vertical bar here and drag the message to lifeline icon to the right. While holding the mouse, move down a little bit and then release your mouse button and name it Bank Consortium and then press enter when you're done. And for the message, type in Validate card information and then press enter when you're done. 
Now the moving down part in drawing is crucial because we want to indicate one level down in nesting. To see if we have done it correctly, you can look at the message number here. It should be 1.1 to indicate the nesting level instead of 2. In step 4, we draw return messages going back to the original sender. After getting a message from the card reader, Bank Consortium needs to return a message that the card has been validated fine. To draw that return message, select this arrow here, and then click on the icon that reads Create Return Message. A dashed arrow pointing in the opposite direction will appear. In the message box, enter card validated, and then press enter when you're done. To continue with the diagram, select the vertical bar here under Card Reader. Drag the message to Lifeline icon to the right. Pass Bank Consortium to a new location and then release your mouse. And we're going to name this Lifeline Display. Press Enter when you're done. And we're going to name this message Ask for Password. Press enter when you're done. Uh, let's move it down a little bit. Okay. Now next, select the vertical bar here under display and drag the message to lifeline icon to the left this time. Pass bank consortium, pass card reader, and then stop at ATM user. And for the message, we're going to type in prompt user to input password and then let's move it to the right a little bit so we can see it okay now um, after the prompting for password the ATM user will input it so select the vertical bar here and click on message to lifeline drag it to the right and then pass display and we're going to create a new lifeline so release your mouse button about here and we're going to name it keypad press enter when you're done and for the message we're going to put in input password press enter when you're done now uh, select the vertical bar here under keypad and then drag the icon uh, message to lifeline to the left pass display and stop at bank consortium and for the message we're going to enter verify password press enter now after this message the bank consortium will send a return message back to the keypad so to do that uh, just click on the arrow here and click on the icon that says create return message and then you get a return message arrow and for the message type in password verified press enter now next uh, let's come back to keypad here select the vertical bar here and drag the message to lifeline icon to the left and stop at display and here we're gonna put in show main menu after looking at the main menu, the user will make a choice to withdraw money. So let's select the vertical bar here and click on message to lifeline icon and drag it to the right. Pass card reader, pass bank consortium, pass display and stop at keypad here. And for the message, put in select to withdraw money. Press enter. Okay, and then after that, the user is gonna have to specify the amount to withdraw. So select the vertical bar here again, drag the message to lifeline icon to the right, and once again stop at keypad here. And for the message, put in input the amount. Press enter when you're done move it a little bit here and then you're done up to uh, right before step 5. 
In step 5, we send message to objects outside the scope of the diagram. Let's just say that after the withdrawal, the system will send a SMS notification, but we're not concerned about the details as to how to do that. Whenever we lack details or don't really care about the message receiver in the scope of the current diagram, we model it as a lost message. To draw it, select the vertical bar here under keypad. Look for the icon that reads lost message. Drag it to the right. While holding down the mouse button, move down to a place where it is below the message number 4 so that we're consistent with the time sequence. Release the mouse button and for the message type in send SMS. Press enter when you're done. There, we've just finished drawing the entire sequence diagram example.